Hi, I'm Greg Brown. I'm David Ivey, and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series we're bringing you about safety products and how to use them. This week's question is, what are the differences between the D-rings on a harness, and what are they used for? So there are, there's a bunch of different D-rings on a fall protection harness. Um, the main D-ring you're gonna have is your back D-ring. That's for standard fall arrest. You're gonna tie off. All the harness out in the market are gonna have at least a, a back D-ring. Um, going on from that, you could potentially have a, a sternal D-ring, which can also be used for fall arrest when you're using a like a ladder climbing system. Yeah, then you can go on to the, to the side D-rings, which are generally on the waist belt area of a harness. <clears throat> Those are just used, uh, as far as I know, only for positioning and not for fall arrest. And in different parts of the world, it's a little bit different. In Europe, some uh, do a front tie off more than a back tie off. Uh, but the different D-rings, that can determine uh, what harness that you buy, uh, depending on your work. Another option for a D-ring is shoulder D-rings. So some of those, if you're going into a confined space, they can use this or spreader bars. Um, there's also some back D-rings that kind of go on your hips on the back side for positioning as well. So just kind of depending on your work area, uh, what you're doing that day depends on what type of harness and what kind of D-rings you're going to need uh, for that specific task. Yeah, when picking out a harness and the amount of D-rings and what, uh, what, which ones that you will be using, uh, it's important to consult the work that you're doing. Talk to your safety person on site. If you're going to be positioning, you'll definitely want the side D-rings. And if you're going to be doing a variety of tasks, then you might want as many D-rings as you can get on your harness.